Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo, and this time for PenPal, which is designed to help you get started with uh, creating curves. Now, normally when creating curves in uh, default vanilla Blender, you would go into cur Add Curve Bezier, and what that does is Blender creates this absolutely useless object for you to get started with. Um, I, th I think that's mainly designed to help beginners because what you would normally do is go into it and start manipulating the points, etc. But because it's such a stupid object to start with, um, it, it's of no use to anybody. What I think most sensible people do is go in, select all the points, delete them, and then go into the uh, pen tool and obviously get started there. Now the pen tool itself is absolutely fantastic. It's just the way you get started with it, having to create that intermediary object, it completely takes you out of the flow. So pretty much the main point of um, Pen Pal is the pen start. So there we go. No intermediary object, no messing around with all of that kind of thing. It um, just, just keeps you in the flow and lets you get started straight away. There we go, a polygon. Add pen start, and again. It, it, it uh, not only allows you to get started straight away, but it also allows you to do it in situ. Normally when you would create a default Blender Bezier, it would create it at the world origin. But say you wanted to create something up here without having to mess around with the cursor and all that, um, you, you can get started straight away by, let's say, add, pen start, and it's already in the position you want to be in. There's no messing around. Um, we do have a few uh, additional tools that are built into PenPal, obviously. We <laughs> want to, to give you as much as you can get out of this. And up here in the side panel is, is where we have those additional tools. So, for example, uh, let's take that point and that point. We would want to add a chamfer. There we go. These are modal operations, which means they're interactive for you. It's simple to add chamfers and fillets on the fly. Um, we also have the handle changes here. So, well, th those are pretty much default Blender things. It's the modal operations that um, make, make this uh, a bit more stand out. The fact that we can interactively round off edges uh, simply by clicking, clicking one or multiple, click fillet and middle mouse drag to interactively edit the curvature of any of the corners that we want to fill it. And there we go again. And uh, that, that automatically takes care of the handles for you. And again, you can adjust the handles afterwards should you wish to. We have toggle cyclic, which is open or close the curves. Um, again, built in standard default blender things, but um, hopefully useless, use, <laughs> useless, <laughs> hopefully useful to you. Um, what more is there to say? I don't think there's too much, to be honest. Um, oh, one of the things we can do as well is create polygons out of these things, which is normally a bit of a pain. So what, what we can do is we've got the curve. We're quite happy with it. And if you wanted a polygon out of this one, if you have qual bonus tools installed, what you can do is obviously convert that to mesh, but that would only be edges again, qual Hole filler, which is part of the bonus tools, hole filler will change that into a polygon for you. It will literally fill the hole for you. Okay. Um, well, yeah, there we go. Hopefully that's of uh, interest to you. I use it all the time and I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. Actually, why do I sound surprised? It's brilliant. Anyway, thank you again for now and bye bye.